Hi, Sam here. Uh, firstly, Happy New Year. I uh, hope you make it a good one. This is basically the first real blog post I've made for the year. So, I firstly want to wish you a Happy New Year, and secondly, I guess just thank you for watching. I mean, it takes me a bit of effort to make these videos or blog posts, so I really hope you find value in them. So, today I'm just going to talk about WordPress and basically why it's one of the major tools I use and why it's awesome. So, firstly, WordPress enables you or it gets rid of the need of having a webmaster, right? So, on your hosting account, such as, for example, I use Bluehost, as you can see here, bluehost.com. So, in Bluehost, in the cPanel, we've got software services and then WordPress, right? It sits under simple scripts. Um, on other web hosting accounts, it sits under Fantastico, and basically, it's just a one-click installation, right? So, that's why it's so easy, it's not technical, it's just click, done, or maybe two clicks, right? So, you pick where you want it installed, and then WordPress will spit out its details and give you your username and password, which you may set up, or it may automatically set up for you. So, as you can see here, on my hosting account at Bluehost, I've, I've already got two um, WordPress setups done. One at my main blog and one at this other fastcashvideotraining.com slash blog. And as I said, you just click install, pick the location or the folder or the site where you want the WordPress server installed, and then boom, done. It will install for you. For example here, you just choose what version you want, the location, click I agree, and then complete, and then once you you do that, you'll install it. So that's why, that's the first reason of why it's so great. You don't need a webmaster. It's very simple. It's a one-click or a couple of clicks, clicks installation. Okay. Second point is the graphics are done. Okay. So this is my, well, this is WordPress admin. So where I've already installed my blog of SamuelCito.com. Now, as you can see on the left sidebar here, there are many options and going back to what I said, the graphics are done. So, for example, here under Appearances, and if we go to Themes, there are many themes you can pick, okay? So, there's no need for a graphic designer or using Dreamweaver or whatever. So, here are just some of the themes which I thought about using. That's the default WordPress theme here. Now, obviously, if you want to search, you click on Install, and then obviously you can search straight off if you know the name or you can filter by all these colors, columns, the subject, whatever. Or you can upload one yourself if you've got, for example, a zip file. So for example, if I just search for black, find themes, it will then provide all the black colored themes and obviously I can pick that and then choose to install it if I want to use it so that's another benefit you know all the graphics are done all the uh, menu bars whatever it's all done for you so that's the second benefit <coughs> and basically WordPress can be used for anything all right now for example many people think that it's it's only just a blogging platform or it's only used for personal websites which is wrong okay you can use it for affiliate websites, you can use it for review websites, you can use it for sales websites, a directory, anything, and of course a blog. Yep. Um, the next point is that WordPress can market for you. Alright, what I mean by that is, if we go under, I think it's writing, the writing settings, it's either writing or general. I can't. Okay, yep, it's writing. So basically, what I mean by it can market for you is you can put your ping list in here, okay? As many as you want, and as you can see, I've got many. So basically, what happens is whenever you publish a new post, WordPress will automatically notify the following sites stating, hello, my site's got new content, okay? And obviously, that's great for the search engines. 
because the search engines like Google they like fresh content okay so that's another benefit of using WordPress if you used a normal HTML site and for example you updated a well if you posted in or made a new page no one would know about it okay unless you manually told the world about it which you know that'd take a bit of effort all right but with WordPress you simply put in your ping uh, services and whenever you post the search engines and all these sites will get notified okay so that's another another benefit another thing is you can even make a membership site I mean this goes back to the point of not needing a webmaster so if I um, go to so if I go to work with davidwood.com because I know he's got an example so as you can see here he's got his own blog you know, there's a standard format recent posts uh, recent comments etc so if I go to top secret training you'll see that it asks you for a password so that's an example of for example having a membership site okay or a members only area so WordPress can do that for you and it does this through plugins okay so there are many plugins that you can choose from and that's what uh, makes it so great to use because there are so many features of the plugins or benefits that the plugins do for you that can enable you to get stuff done or or you know enhance your website such as a contact form Google an analytics a site map you know there's so much stuff you know a photo dropper etc okay and it also allows you to easily add media okay some of these plugins like Vipers video quick tags it allows you to e easily embed video so for example if I make a new blog post I can easily add the YouTube embed link and that will allow me to post that video as you may have seen some already as per my previous posts so and plugins are really simple okay you just search add new okay you search on something <clears throat> you click install for whatever you want and that's it you install it and then done okay and then you activate it right so that's how easy it is you know it can provide you a contact form as I've explained an FAQ a membership site again as I've explained so yeah there's a ton of things to make it easy so that's my summary of WordPress and why you should use it and why it's great. Um, I hope this has helped. I'll catch you next time.